Hi there, I'm Dimitri. A new round of TIFA talks, extended vaccination in the seventh priority group, more tests for travelers heading and leaving quarantine, some light at the end of the tunnels for Taipei night markets, and family fun during the semi lockdown. Here's our top five this week. At number one, Taiwan and the United States held their first trade and investment framework agreement meeting in five years on Wednesday, aimed at strengthening supply chains and increasing access to their respective markets. The TIFA talks are an indication that the stars are slowly aligning for an eventual free trade agreement in the near future. Taiwan eased its long-standing ban on imported pork containing rectopamine earlier this year, despite fierce opposition from local pork producers. Taiwan also postponed on Friday a planned referendum on rectopamine pork to prevent another spike in virus infections. Many issues remain on the table, however, including tariffs on Taiwan steel products and tires. At number two, the Central Epidemic Command Center announced on Friday that more than 400,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine will be distributed to local authorities on Monday. The second batch is released earlier than expected to allow the vaccine to be ready for the vaccination campaign planned later that week. The vaccines are meant for people listed in the seventh vaccination priority group, namely military personnel, teachers and frontline postal workers, as well as those working in the traditional market, food delivery and transportation sectors. The shots are part of the 2.5 million vaccine doses donated in recent weeks by the United States. Taiwan has administrated more than 600,000 modern shots so far. At number three, travelers arriving in Taiwan must take a PCR test upon arrival since Friday, followed by an antigen test between the 10th and the 12th day of their quarantine, and another PCR test before they go home. The new policy highlights soaring concerns about the Delta variant of the virus that was recently discovered in Pingtung County. The CCC has also started to carry out genome sequencing of all cases found among arriving travelers to better monitor the spread of the Delta variant. The sequencing is also conducted for domestic cases that are part of a cluster or have an unknown source of infection, authorities said. At number four, Taipei reopened some of its night markets this week in a bid to lift the financial pressure off the shoulders of business operators. The city government relaxed the regulations to allow them to sell takeout snacks. Only a limited number of stalls are allowed to operate for now, amid concerns at new cluster infections detected at the Huanan market. Night markets in the southern Wanhua district, which is still a COVID-19 hotspot, have yet to resume operation. City authorities could reverse their decision if the situation fails to improve soon. At number five, Taiwanese celebrity Yo Wang took entertainment to the next level last month, buying two donkeys to keep her children company during these difficult times. Wang praised the farm animals for keeping her son and daughter busy with activities such as pretending to go camping. Well, the family has come closer together because of the semi-lockdown, she said. She better understands her children's homework and spends more time cooking, she added. The family of four also breeds two alpacas. That was our top five. Check our website and Facebook for more. We see you next week with five more news stories you need to know.